Hello everybody, Average Gamer here. Welcome back to another episode of Supreme Lore Ultimate as Cote Avor, aka the Ivory Coast. So in the last episode, we uh, continued our war with South Africa. We're at war with, as I scroll up here, uh, we're at war with Ethiopia. Um, to be 100% honest, as of this moment, most of the military forces we have are currently uh, down here. So I'm just trying to think how I want to do this. Um, with some thoughts that I'm looking at right now, I, I can't see myself advancing south along the coast. A couple reasons for that. The first one and the major one is that there is not enough spots for me to bring in, if I hit the S button here, my supply south along this coastal highway. I'm probably going to have to push east because that way I can capture this town and this town early on, uh, build an airport, build us some supply depots and get things going there. Um, with that in mind, I think if I bring up this here, do, 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 do. we're not really gaining much when it comes to this war. Um, we're building up our military, yes, but South Africa is really not losing or gaining. In my eyes, that means South Africa probably has a obvious larger force than us. We're going to run on pause here. I'm going to send some spies into their territory. So right now they're fighting with Mozambique, which for us is a good thing. Because that means we don't have 100% of their attention. If I can hit their capital, though, might not be a bad thing. Um... If I can push on through, because our supply is pretty good with our two supply depots here, I should be able to push east into their territory and hopefully put a big threat, if not a large threat, uh, into their capital. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to withdraw a lot of our motorized units, motorized, motorized units from here, here, and here, and bring them into this location, and we're just going to slowly move forward along this highway for now going to get to this highway some of our units will split off and head north and take this town some other units will split off south and hit this town the bulk of our force will push on to this airbase and then we'll have to push on towards this area here i think this is going to be where the majority of a lot of our fighting is going to occur the main reason for that it's a lot of towns it's gonna to be a lot of garrison units i'm a little worried actually about that so, I'm going to start going with the long-term plan of what most likely I'm going to need. We're going to pause here. Um, hopefully, you guys don't want too much money for all this because we have $13 billion. You're asking for 12 billion. Oh, no, wait. You're asking for 20? Urgh. What now? 14. Um, 10. Start looking at Moscow, or Moscow, say Moscovy, Moscow as well for additional units. Four hundred grand for those, yes, please. Oh, 
Oh, sorry. Ethiopia declared war on us just during the last episode. Okay. So those units have been purchased. We're also going to cancel this. Really? So I haven't... You you bought. Let me buy those. Perfect. Um, some more research, which is good. Do you have any T nineties available? You do. It's a lot of my price range at the moment because money. What is going on? One point. Why am I buying so many military goods? Guess I have it set to auto buy. <laughs> Crap on a cracker. Okay. Um. Let's lock the AI out of that. Yep. I want you also to export opportunities. Okay. No, okay, we're making money again. Oh, yeah, we're good. All right, so we're also hopefully, quote unquote, supporting. One, two, three, four. Five. Six. Seven. So I have to contemplate here how I'm going to do this. I want to do as much. Hmm. I would love to be able to negate their military, their air force. If I can negate their air force, that would be really good. But at the same time, I know for a fact that's not going to happen. Modern attack helicopters. Oh, we have some anti we got some aircraft fighting there. I have to think about how I'm going to do this because I could push to their capital. That'll cause some severe issues for them. Do I have any more artillery here? Why 
Wow. That's... Yes, yeah. Wow. I'd love to get more of these Delta Raptors, but I definitely don't have the money for it. Long term, I would love to. Well, we definitely need to get some more money going on here. Uh, Iowa, Nebraska, good for you guys. So you're starting to fortify up here a little bit. So we got two gun pieces of artillery there, a whole bunch more there actually. So let's bring in a little bit more ground units. Yeah. Send all three of you back to go repair as well. Pretty much that's my main game here, is every time I get my aircraft, every time they engage, I'm just going to go ordering, uh, I'm just going to go and order them to basically bring aircraft out. At least this way, as I lose, I, I sh well, shouldn't say I shouldn't lose aircraft, but at the same time, it's like the loss of aircraft will not be as significant. A lot of the aircraft I'm going to be utilizing are going to be Soviet or well, Russian aircraft. Can I buy those? How much is four of them? Seven.
not too worried about losing guys here, so... Basically, they're just support infantry. So I can stack up enough guys here, they'll just keep stacking into each other. There we go. I lost a howitzer, though. So you should start getting engaged by these now. Perfect. I uh, don't think the Russians would be willing to sell me... The S300... No, they wouldn't. No. Oh, well, you guys are good to go. Okay. So here is where we do this. You are all going to go... So you, 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 and you. I'm going to go there. You're going to go there. You get... Nope. You guys are going to go there. You guys are going to go there. Uh, you, you, and you. We're going to push on through. We should take the town of Rundu pretty... Pretty handily. Our damage units can withdraw out of battle, so that's no big deal. Done. Take it. Good. We now officially control all of the territory up here that we did before. I believe now those guys should all be good to go. Yep. Deploy pillies, and they're all going to deploy over here, probably. Uh, yep. Highlight everybody. See so transport, please. Come on down to the battle zone. I mean, if I can keep doing massive damages to their air force, or to pretty much all their aircraft, I should hopefully, fingers crossed, That reminds me. Call sucks. So the Pacoots are going to take a little while to repair. But I definitely would love a Delta Raptor if I could get one. I would love an access to a B-52 or a, even a B-2. Because a B two or a B fifty two would do wonders for the all for basically with the way I play, I would be able to do a few things that right now I can't do. And my main concern is California. Yeah, California's either deployed them all. Yeah, there's one there. There's two more there. And some F-22 Raptors, so... Oh, wait. Okay. You're an Interceptor, though, so you're not going to be the best. When it comes to here, though... You're willing to sell me access to the A-4 Skyhawk? Oh, you too. Eight billion dollars for just the paperwork showing how to make one. I'm good, thanks. Um, right now I have no abilities to make any aircraft. Um, you're willing to show me how to make the MiG-21. Problem is, MiG-21 has horrible ground attack. Uh, 
Seven billion dollars for that. Well, those are interceptors. Tactical bombers. You only have them. Will you sell me? No. I was thinking of the bear. Um, I don't know which country would have access to the bear. That's Korea. Oh, they took all of you. Wow. Central Siberia. No, you only have access to the fish bed. I have an idea. I'm going to let them push over the bridge. Military's gotten 10,000 stronger. Okay. Which I mean, for me, I'm not a fan, but what are you going to do? Take out this oliphant. Oh, uh, it's the Carolinas. So you were willing at the one point to sell me the Delta Raptors, but now you won't. Counter offer? Nope. Uh, military goods? Yeah, you know what? Even though those are 90 day deals, I'm still going to agree with them anyways. Oh, my spies have gone away. Recon. There, 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 there. Well, Mozambique's about to surrender, so that's not good for me. Okay. Um, all of 
of you. Well, actually, no, not all of you. Uh, you and you. I'm actually going to entrench there. Um, and you. Entrench there. Uh, Merv. Hey, Merv. These are all reserve units for you. Now that I've got the military goods, this should be theoretically a lot easier for me to move in and do some damage. Now the question is, how do I want to do this? Do I want to... really don't want to push down this coastal highway. I'm more concerned that I'll get bogged down without supply by pushing down the highway here. And, I mean, with the way these guys are going right now, they don't seem too concerned about me. So... Hmm... It's one of these weird things where it's like, I know I have the numbers. Unfortunately, unlike like Hearts of Iron or a few other games, you can't guesstimate as to their active numbers. Because right now, their active numbers are different than their actual active military presence. So their active military, or their active, yeah, their, like their active military is not the 400,000 or the almost half million troops that it is now. It technically could be mostly bases is what that is, but I, I don't know. I only have what I can see. And right now they've got a lot of helicopters, a lot of artillery, a lot of tanks. And I don't want to have to resort to something that is a possibility. Because I can't wage... If I want to wage war with pretty much any of the big boys... Oh. I never mind. I can't even do what I was thinking. Unless it's a research option. Nope. Not even a research option. That was nuclear. But I think I may have turned nuclear weapons off. As an option. I mean, nuclear weapons in my eyes are a bit of a easy way out. So. Where are the... Yeah, the 9K-62s. If you have more of those, I would love to buy those from you. Um, you only have three of you, one of you, and nine of you, so that's not good for me. Yeah, I think I turned nuclear weapons off.
8.4 billion. Three point six. Five two. Let's go with the five two. It's getting a really good air force, I think, is definitely more important to me right now. Because if I can get my air force up, running, mobile, and good to go, then theoretically, I should. Shouldn't I say that like a question? <laughs> really have any major, major issues? I would love to have a good air superiority on them. You're good. You're good. You're good. Oh, wait. Whoa. Why do they always do this? No, please go here, please. So these guys are going to be flying immediately overseas to here, and they're going to be going to be ordered to repair. That sucks. It's fighting over there, like here. Let's start bombing facilities. Some good damage on that one. fixed up faster than expected. Okay. So we're bomb facility. Highlight them immediately. And repair place. Yeah. This aircraft pretty much can't do enough. It's like my air force is good, but not enough. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna be the MiG seventeen. That's not enough. It's not a good enough aircraft. And you only have MiG 27s. Hmm. Oh. 
Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. How much for one Delta Raptor? Eight billion dollars. Okay, that's a no. I was gonna say this is the moment where they have like a couple B twos in like storage, and I just sit there and eleven billion. Oh wait, there's a Delta Raptor in there. That's why. Three hundred K for an A four and an F and an F sixteen. No, thank you. Uh, can I buy a warship off you? Nope. Um, what about you guys? Sub will be good. Sub's two billion dollars. This would give me a very good, I'm assuming, edge over the South Africans. Because I can bring the warship here and bring it south. That's going to be an F-15. An F-A-1... Wait. Yeah, you wouldn't peace out yet. <laughs> would you be willing to sell me something? That would be hilarious. Hmm. Well, I do have air. Perfect. Got the sub. Air deployable infantry. I have to figure that out. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.